character wants to say, whatever is seen is as a result of inquiry. Like that nothing has ever happened. There is nothing, there is only this, and this recognizes itself. There's nothing that recognizes it. There's nothing that it's revealed to. It somehow just, you know, nothing has ever happened. It's never happened to anyone. There's just nothing. And somehow then the character thinks, well, um, you know, this was a result. This seeing was a result of inquiry. But it cannot be the result no. of anything. There's no cause and effect. Yeah. It, and it might seem that way. It might seem that there was a listening to a speaker or inquiring happening. But ultimately, it's always been this stillness. It's never been somebody's job to find it. Everything appeared and disappeared in it as it. And the illusion, the dream appeared in it as it. And so whatever the person thinks it did to bring itself here is never a truth because it never existed separately. It just had this game of playing as if it was something else than this. And, and does it, and then what happens is it almost like it, that seeing becomes a little bit more opaque and the dream seems to, that knowingness is always there. I don't even know how to articulate this, but... Mm. It's like the dream is still here. What is is still here, but the person in relationship with it completely disappears. So everything is it, and it's it, and then that one that was separate from it disappears. And it's totally not an intellectual thing, but nothing is separate from you because there's nothing it's in relationship with. Even though the hand is touching the computer and the eyes are looking at this, there's nothing which it's actually happening to. The senses and the sense become one and the same thing, but not intellectually. It's such an energetic movement that happens. And yet the character can still go on normally. The body carries on functioning kind of the same. But there's nothing in relationship anymore. It kind of eats itself up. And before where there was something in here, like somewhere around here, it's totally empty. I, the, the, it's it, but then it's like then this person seems to come back it's like it's like there's nothing and then all of a sudden there's just this this something yeah that's what it does it goes on and off and there's nothing and trying to say oh you know like i understand there's nothing yeah <laughs> but it does that it goes on and off on and off that person comes back and is in relationship and they're not and then and then eventually it it just dies out but it's it does do that and then when the person comes back it claims it and it will think so I saw nothing or I got myself here or I did this and then at some point that energy will burn itself out as well <laughs> but it can become very um, that energy can become a lot softer and the person can still be there and think it's enlightened but it's like really soft, that sense of self. So it kind of like a, it feels very different than when there was a big sense of self there before. But then you'll notice it by the person thinks it's enlightened. You see, and it's identified with something. It will think, I got this, or I know this, or I understand this. Yeah, I totally know what you mean. I totally see that. Because it can't, it can't, it's not known. No. It's, it's not known. It's not. It's not. It's not for anyone. I can't mm. even. It can't even. Like, but I watch how the character here tries to claim on it, almost like trying to find a salvation in it yeah, to say, yeah. "Well, what I am, yeah. and I, I am this. It, it, I am this nothing now because and it's because like, I'm feels very threatened. Actually, yeah. something in the character is it is feels really terrified by this. Mm. You no, know, uh, like. I, I can't really put it's like it seems like following like this there's nothing received by no one then there's a, almost a feeling of fear that then is a period experienced by the character because it's like shit yeah. you know like it's like a death yeah. and and that's true it can bring up a lot of fear and then also on the other side enlightenment was its last dream this last big dream it was like 
can I not at least be enlightened? <laughs> like it's also <laughs> like it's love affair. It falls so much in love, the character with non-duality and with the <laughs> idea because when it's being heard, it can be release like loads of pleasure and enjoyment and fun to the to the and all of that. Yeah, and so then it's like um, it's like its last lover, the idea of enlightenment. So it then becomes desperate to be seen as enlightened, to to act enlightened, to show others it's enlightened, and it, it's a burden in a way. But it will it burns itself out like everything. It gets tired of that game. But it's anyway. painful. Oh, it's incredibly painful. That yeah. like, yeah. I don't know, almost like a a longing in some way. You know? Yeah. yeah. It is. It feels like it can taste it, but it can't get itself there. It's like it can, yeah. it can taste it so close, and yet it still feels this distance. Yeah, and then it's seen like, oh my God, there's no distance, but then all of a sudden there's an apparent distance, distance and that yeah. apparent distance is excruciating. Yeah, Cause it can be no, really cool. not true. Yeah, it can be. It's a really cool part, the awakening part, because it's like it tastes it, and then boom, and then yeah. no amount of running. Some characters hold on to the idea of hope that it can do it by self-inquiry or it can do it by this, but no amount of it can make that, it, it collapses when it collapses. And yeah. the person's just like a hamster running in the ball, you know, like the ball trying to, to get it. And it, it, it's, it's like, he just can't get it in subject object because it's not subject object. <laughs> But that doesn't mean that things don't happen. It doesn't mean that the character doesn't go to retreats or go to events or listen to non-duality or seek for this or seek for that. It's not about not doing things. Doing will happen. But it's it, but you can't get there because you are an object. <laughs> what a subject. I sometimes like... Like I don't think about non-duality too much, but uh, like it sounds like I do because I talk so much, but I don't think about it. But sometimes I reflect on what I'm actually speaking about, and then I'm like, what a subject I'm saying. There is this, but you can't get there. Like it's like the worst sales. And then I go and do these talks, and people have to pay like 20 euros or something to come in. And I'm like, well, actually, there's nothing to sell here, but. <laughs> You can never get there. Yeah, because it's it, it's not something that anybody could ever get to. So it's like it's like an artist coming to a talk where they're taught that they can't paint. They can't yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, what a talk you're doing. <laughs> but luckily, a lot of people that come come through having listened to me on YouTube, so they're really like. But sometimes when I go to these big events which are organised by other people, I'm like. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> but there's a huge freedom in it as well like for, on some level I don't know how to there's like, a what sorry there's a freedom in the fact that like because this character has tried everything yeah every single thing it's kind of like trying itself into oblivion trying yeah, yeah. trying trying to get it and and this is just like it's pointless you know yeah. it's it's really pointless yeah that can that can be a very relaxing yeah. idea. Yeah. The, the, there's then this feeling of like yeah. you know it's like it's happening yeah <laughs> oh my pleasure lovely to speak with you again yeah, lovely to speak to you too <laughs>